A community has been grieving since April when a 13-year-old was killed while biking home in West Jordan. On Monday, the driver, 50-year-old Mason Andrew Ohms, pleaded guilty to criminal, criminal homicide, automobile homicide, and leaving the scene of an accident involving death. This video shows his truck leaving the scene. Now, with the holiday season underway, the family says they want to celebrate their son's life and use his light to bring joy. Tonight, Fox 13 News reporter Michael Lee Gooby introduces us to the Mitchell family and how they are showcasing Eli's memory. Every tree here at the Festival of Trees has a story to tell, but behind the story of one tree is a family trying to get a message out about losing a loved one. Eli read all the Harry Potter books probably like 15 times. A 13-year-old boy who loved reading, snowboarding, and people. The most unique kid you could ever meet. Since he was born, every day he would make me laugh, every day. But his life was tragically cut short when he was riding his bicycle at a crosswalk and was hit by a drunk driver back in April. He was my best friend and he still is my best friend. And for the past couple months, his family has been working to cope with this loss. Super hard. So, so, so hard. People will say, you know, you'll get through it and I, you'll never get, we'll never get through it. We'll just, we'll just keep living for Eli and just keep living like him. He lived big, help him inspire others, even though he's not here. So the community came together to decorate a tree at the Festival of Trees to honor Eli's memory. It just reminds me of Eli when I see it every little bit. Um, Eli loves Harry Potter loves Harry Potter. I choose to think he's still reading Harry Potter in heaven. Filled with Harry Potter books, the sorting hat, owls, trinkets, Eli's Hogwarts acceptance letter, and quotes from the series. The ones that love us never really leave us. I love it. Right when I saw the tree, that's the first thing I was drawn to. And I feel that so strongly. The Mitchell family wants to raise awareness about what happened so no other family has to go through their pain. Those that, that drink and drive, I would just ask that you think twice before you do that. I realize that you're probably like, I'll probably make it home, there'll probably be no problems, but all it takes is something like this happening and it impacts a family and their friends, but it also impacts the person's family that did it. Eli's tree stands tall and bright because people wanted to show the Mitchell family that they are loved and not alone. It's really cool that people still care and like people are willing to do this for our family and just for Eli. Eli's family says they want people to continue to remember the kind boy he was and how his love for Harry Potter will live on. At the Festival of Trees, I'm Maithili Gubi, Fox 13 News, Utah.